Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, we're going to talk about the basic concepts of what a home equity line of credit is. Now, if you were like me, back in 2017, I first learned about a, a thing called velocity banking. And when you learn about velocity banking, they always talk about home equity lines of credit. And I had no idea what was going on at the time because I was making a little bit more than minimum wage. I had no money. And I thought, so why, why am I learning this? I'm never going to buy a home. But there's a saying that the harder you work, the luckier you get. So I feel like I got really lucky. And thus, I'm able to pay off a mortgage or 25% of a mortgage in a year because I learned about velocity banking, home equity line of credit. So if you want to learn about velocity banking, I'm going to go more into detail that in, the, in a link below. Click the link below for velocity banking 101, 102. And you can learn about that. Uh, but in this video, we're just going to go over the basics of what a home equity line of credit is. So if you type it in Google, you get a lot of search results. And I'm not going to go and click any one of one of these, but um, just be aware. So the reason why I'm going to Google is to show you that there's a lot of information out there. This It's not like this is a brand new product, right? Uh, people have been um, using home equity lines of credits for many, many things. It's just a lot of times the the... People get obsessed with only using home equity lines of credits for velocity banking when when that's not necessary. But it's a great tool to use if it's a it's if it's available for you to use. Okay, so now we're just going to kind of go over the basics of what a home equity line of credit is. So uh, the abbreviation is HELOC. So if you heard the term HELOC, it stands for Home Equity Line of Credit. Now, if I'm going to give you an explanation is if you're five, I'll just say it's like a credit card, but it's based on your house, right? So they actually gave me a credit card uh, when I got my first home equity line of credit. And they said I could swipe it anywhere that accepts credit cards. That's interesting. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So first of all, let's go over the question. What is equity, right? What is equity? You've, I don't know if you ever heard the term before, but basically all it is, is pretty much the estimated sales value of your home and the debts tied to you, to your home. So mortgage loan, uh, home equity line of credit would actually apply to this. So any sort of debt, they call them encumbrances, that's tied to your house or secured by your house um, is, is going to be part of the equation that they'll determine how much equity you have. So really simple, I mean, really simple math. So let's say you have a $300,000 home. Right, that's that's the the value, home value, or the sales price. So what do you, what do you mean by that? Is that if I were to put a for sale sign for today at a certain price, that's that's the home value. So th that's this resale price. And then if I have, let's say, you know, <clears throat> two mortgages, I have first mortgage at one hundred twenty thousand. So let's be mortgage one, and then I have another maybe junior mortgage for about thirty thousand. So I'll say mortgage two, what, what's the, the equity, right? And then we'll just do a quick calculation on that one. So let's pull out our calculator. So that'll be 300,000 minus 120, 000, 000, minus 30, 000, 000. So how much equity do I have? I have 150,000 of equity. Right. So that that's all it is. And you could kind of another synonymous word. And I don't know if it's technically correct. It's pretty much profit, the profit you would receive. So basically, it's just the sales price minus your debts on the home. Now, it's not technically true because there's a lot more cost tied to selling real estate. But I always like to think of it as the profit that you make. But um, so now let's say, you know, another example. So I have four hundred five hundred four hundred thousand dollar home. And I have zero. Uh, debt tied to the home, right? Or debt encumbrances, mortgage, whatever you want to call it. What's my equity? It's 400,000. It's a very simple calculation. If you know how many debts you have, and maybe some people don't, uh, well, debt's tied to the home. You just subtract it from the sales the estimated sales price. And usually when um, you apply for a home equity line of credit, obviously you're not selling the home, but they're going to do an appraisal to figure out what they think the estimated sales price is in order to calculate the equity. So now I have $400,000 of equity here in this scenario. So relatively easy. Again, sale value, the, the estimated retail sales value of your home 
minus any debts tied to the home, and that's how much equity you know you have. So how so now given that that you know how much equity you have in a home and you have to be a homeowner, like if you rent a home, this is not possible. Um, you only have equity when you own. Um, so given that now you know the equity of your home and you want to go to the bank, um, say, hey, I want a, I want a HELOC, I want a home equity line of credit. Um, they're going to calculate the equity. They're going to look at your credit profile and your income, and then they'll make a decision how much they want to lend to you. So if you don't know what a line of credit, again, uh, we're going to do a quick review. A line of credit is a financial product or tool where you can borrow money, reuse it, and then uh, if you pay it, uh, or I'm sorry, borrow money, pay it back, and then reuse it over and over again. So if I borrow $10,000 today, and then I pay back $10,000, I can reuse it the next day pretty much, right? And it's just like a credit card. That's why I say it's like a credit card, but it's based tied for, to your home, right? So that's essentially what a line of a home equity line of credit is, okay? So let's say... Um, you're now going to make an application to the bank. So you call the bank and say, hey, you know, I want a home equity line of credit. And, um, you know, I have $400,000 of equity, absolutely no debt, no mortgage types of home. And so they'll take your application. And then what they'll do. So let's let's go to the next step. So what they'll do. Is they'll take a look at amount of equity and they say, OK, you have $400,000. First of all, they'll probably ask you how much you want to be able to borrow. So uh, if you are uh, wanting higher amounts, they might have higher uh, or stricter uh, underwriting, uh, uh, what's it, what do you call it, uh, guidelines. And then, um, you know, I, I remember when I filled in an application, if I went above a certain amount, I would have to pay a yearly like maintenance fee or something like that. So again, ask your bank, ask the lending institution of where you want to get the home equity line of credit, but every bank is a slightly different on what, what they offer. But well, I'll just say this. So let's say like, I want to borrow um, uh, up to the max and they say, okay, well, the max is about $400,000 times 80%. Right, so let's figure out how much. What's the maximum uh, you're able to borrow? Four hundred thousand times point eight. So you could borrow up to three hundred twenty thousand dollar amount from from your home equity. So it's like a really huge or a credit card tied to your house with a really huge limit. And they might say, okay, you know, with anything where the limit is above a hundred thousand, you might have to pay. I don't know. I'm just making this up, but I know you have to pay like a hundred, maybe a hundred fifty dollar a year fee. You know, some credit cards are like that too, where you have to pay a yearly fee. I I don't know. I just don't, can't remember off the top of my head what the yearly fee was because I didn't borrow over a hundred thousand dollars. But this is just an example. Um, so, and then they might say things like, if you close the account within two years you you have to pay a two thousand uh, dollar penalty right so again every bank's terms or lending institution's terms is different but you ask them you know they're going to be upfront with you like hey is it okay you know i noticed that there's going to be a penalty within two years but if i close it after two years I don't have to pay anything, right? And they'll be like, yes, no, whatever. But be be educated and be a little bit more proactive when you um, find out these things are applying for, for the product. Okay, so most likely in this situation, I'll be able to borrow 320,000. Now, uh, sometimes there's some restrictions. Some banks won't let you use the amount, uh, the amount available for like business purposes. Um, and they say, oh, you have to, you can do it for everything for personal use, but you can't use it for like buying an investment home. So always check, you know, there's a billion home equity line. I don't, not really, but as you saw in the Google search, there's many, many providers of that product here in the United States. And so if one bank doesn't allow you, go to another bank, right? You know, always be honest and always be truthful in, in what you do. Okay. So back to my point. So in this situation, I'm able to borrow $320,000. They'll give me a card in the mail that's very similar to a credit card, but it's just like HELOC, and then I could swipe it anywhere I want. Or another thing I can do is I could just, you know, transfer online cash. Um, I just click a button, and then I click, you know, I want $50 in my bank account, and I can do that too. 
So really um, cool product with lower interest rates. So, so because it's based on your house, you might even get this. You might get like a 0% introductory period, interest rate, introductory period. You might get that, right? So that's that's totally possible um, for maybe like six to twelve months, and so you use that 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 money up, and then you maybe buy something that will generate a return, um, and you'll be interest free period, and just as long as you pay it back, then you know good deal. So that's possible as well. Okay, so one final thing is that um, there's something called a draw period. So credit cards don't normally have this, or I'm not aware that a credit card has this. But it's basically saying, okay, you can use it like a credit card for maybe like the first 10 years. And then after 10 years, if you have a balance, so let's say like you didn't pay it off, um, maybe you have a $50,000 balance. It essentially becomes a loan, right? So I'm not sure at what uh, how many years they would um, – what would be the term for the loan? Would it be like a 5, 10, 20, 30 year loan? I don't know. But the, let's just say that, okay, it becomes a 10 year loan. And then so now you have to, to pay a monthly um, payment for 10 years, like a fixed monthly payment for, for 10 years. If you did not um, pay out back everything that you used in the first 10 years of, of the loan. So now if, you, if you're at that point, then it's like, okay, I have $50,000. The bank's gonna just convert into a loan, and you can't. You don't have that two-way flexibility like a credit card. So with a loan, um, if you you pay overpay the loan, you never really get that money back. Whereas if you overpay a credit card, you can always use that money back because a credit card is a two-way street, and, and a loan is not. So uh, just to recap, uh, a home equity line of credit is kind of like a credit card, but based on your house, you can borrow. the The amount available to borrow will be based on your available equity. So what is equity? Equity is basically the estimated sales price of your home minus any debts typed at home, and you can just do a simple calculation with that. Um, so sales price, mortgage one, mortgage two, you got $150,000 of equity. Maybe in situation two, you have a $400,000 home, absolutely no debt tied to the home at all. You have $400,000 of equity. And then what you do is when you apply for a home equity line of credit, credit you need to meet the bank's qualifications. So you need good income, good credit profile, and then you'd let them know how much you want to borrow. So let's say I want to borrow as much as possible. Um, they probably, they'll give you a percentage, probably 80% and say, hey, you can borrow up to $320,000, right? And then they might have some fees associated with it to keep the account open. They might uh, penalize you if you um, if you close the account too early. But then the good thing is they might have a lower interest rate or an introductory interest rate period. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, even if you don't have a home right now and you're making minimum wage, I think it's best to know about these things um, beforehand rather than the moment that you need them. Because there's a saying that banks only lend you money when you don't need it, right? So if you have a home or planning to get a home and you realize, hey, this could be an, a tool that would be um, useful to me, just apply for it as soon as you're able to, rather than the moment that you need it. All right. Okay. All right. So, and again, that's not financial advice. That's just what I would advise myself. So little disclaimer there. Okay. So um, this is Korean Atlanta mentorship. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. Um, I'm always going to do a plug for our group at the end of the video. So if you're interested in joining our group, go ahead and click the Google form link below. Or go ahead and um, email us in the about section of our YouTube channel. You can find our email there and then just give us a shout out and we'll be in contact with you. See if you're a good fit for the group. Okay. Um, all right. Have a great day, everybody. And we will speak next time.